And I'm here to discuss whether Halloween is a paganish type thing or not. A lot of different theories about it. Here's what I, I think happened. Uh, years ago, you had these Celtic people in Europe, and they had some kind of a pagan holiday around the beginning of November. Apparently, they thought that uh, this was when humans on Earth could be in touch with the uh, dead spirits that were, like, roaming around and stuff like that. So it was a big day for them. But they didn't call it Halloween. <laughs> that, that's for damn sure. Okay, they had their own thing. One of the words is like Sam Hain. That's the way uh, it would sound based on the spelling in English. I think it would pronounce like Salin or something like that. But anyway, it was around that time, near the end of summer in, uh, in their season and stuff. And so they did their thing. And the Catholics decided to put a holiday at around the same time of year. Uh, chose that for All Saints Day on uh, November 1st. And uh, the Catholic holiday, of course, is not pagan. It just happened to be at the same time of year. And maybe the Catholic Church was trying to give Catholics something uh, to do at the same time that pagans were doing their thing. So All Saints Day on uh, the 1st of November. Uh, and uh, the thing is, uh, they put the holiday in different languages. And in English, they didn't always have the word saint. One time, uh, they used the word hallow, so it was All Hallows Day. And the evening before All Hallows Day, All Hallow Evening, and in, short, in a shorter form, All Hallow Even, and Hallow Even, and that became Halloween. You can see Halloween could be Hallow Even. And uh, so uh, you have a Catholic thing uh, there, Hallow Even. And at the same time, you still have pagan stuff surviving and um, causing legends and things like that, especially among the Celtic people. And so there were people doing these paganish things around the same time as uh, the Catholic holiday. And so this gives some people the impression that the Catholics were doing the pagan rituals, yet uh, the pagan rituals were done by a different group. Of course, you probably had some nominal Catholics that were doing the pagan rituals and doing the Catholic stuff uh, also, kind of blending it together. But it doesn't mean that the church itself uh, approved of the pagan rituals. In fact, quite the contrary. There are cases where uh, the Catholic Church would try to exterminate the pagans by force. And I think you know what I'm talking about here, right? <laughs> but anyway, uh, continuing on. And then you get here in the U.S. when you got a bunch of Celtic immigrants came over and and introduced the holiday over here, probably around the 1800s or whatever, and people weren't all that familiar with it because uh, the British colonists here hadn't been in, been into it all that much, um, but they took notice of it and started uh, coming up with different ideas about it. And somehow it got involved with these monster movies, these scary movies here. And people start wearing Frankenstein uh, monster um, outfits and Dracula outfits and Wolfman outfits and stuff. And that stuff d uh, would not have a Catholic origin. And I don't think it has a pagan origin either. It sounds like just something uh, people did for fun, sort of wearing these strange outfits. I guess my favorite would be The Wolfman. You know, I've seen that movie, The Wolfman. I like Frankenstein's Monster, too. Because The Wolfman and Frankenstein's Monster really were not rotten guys or anything. Just they were misunderstood and kind of mistreated and had some bad experiences in their lives. By contrast, you have Dracula, who really seemed pretty bad, you know. And, um... I don't know what to think about the mummy. I guess the mummy was okay. Uh, Hunchback, another damn. Yeah, all these monster movies you had coming out in the 1930s. And it kind of got the uh, Halloween holiday really going with uh, 
all these uh, costumes. But an unfortunate thing is that people u are using the word Halloween when talking about the pagan stuff. And using the word Halloween when talking about this thing where people dress up in strange costumes. And that's not really what Halloween was all about. It was, it was just the evening before All Hallows Day or All Saints Day. And people started using that term when referring to uh, the paganish kinds of things going around at that time of year. And uh, when they're talking about the pagan holiday, they probably should use a pagan name. How about that? Don't use Halloween when referring to the pagan stuff going on that time of year. Find out the real Celtic name. I think it was like Salin or... So, uh, I've seen it spelt S-A-M-H-A-I-N. I've seen it spelt that way sometimes. I'm pretty sure the Celts did not pronounce it Samhain. Probably Salin or something like that. I don't know. I don't know a heck of a lot about the Celtic language, but... I met some Celts and whatever. A lot of the Celts today don't even speak Celtic languages. That's kind of interesting. Well, anyway, I guess that's about wraps it up for Halloween.